Good afternoon guys, Rob AZ here. Today we will be making crock pot spaghetti with a twist. All you're going to need is about a pound of hamburger meat, half an onion, tablespoon of garlic powder, half tablespoon to a tablespoon of black pepper depending on how you like the flavor. Go ahead and throw it in the pan brown it up just like so with the onions strain it throw it right into your crock pot you're gonna add some Morton salt about a half teaspoon throw in about four or five bay leaves and of course you're gonna need the oregano do about a tablespoon of oregano or however much you like really two bottles of ragu or whatever type of uh, spaghetti sauce you can even do, even do homemade but I'm too uh, I'm too lazy for that, so. And then put the lid on the crock pot. This is at the halfway point at about two and a half hours. It's going to cook for about five hours altogether. Give it a quick stir. coming together pretty good put the lid back on and then this is at about five hours gonna grab one package of spaghetti noodles it's about a pound I think stir it up really well as you can see then this is the twist part you're gonna grab a half a block of cream cheese and just dollop it on top they're gonna add some ricotta cheese as you can see I didn't get a picture of the bottle but yeah it's just a, a small container of ricotta cheese and then mozzarella cheese on top and let it bake for another 30 to 35 minutes in the crock pot or cook and then let it sit for about 20 minutes or so just to, so it sets up a little bit go ahead and spoon yourself a plate and I will be back with the review thank you very much for watching good evening youtubers Rob AZ here so you just saw how to make some uh, crock pot spaghetti the good old way now it's time for the taste test the best part of the whole thing so let's give us a whirl as you saw it wasn't too difficult to make so here it is. Man, it's, it's like super cheesy. It's crazy. Let me see that. Like, whoa. So, let's give this a whirl. Right here. Mmm. Let's see here. <clears throat> like cream cheese in there, along with the ricotta cheese. It's so creamy, and then the mozzarella cheese on top of it. It's really good. And you keep the cheese on top, so when you cut down, you get the spaghetti in the bottom and the cheese on top. It's a perfect combination. But uh, thank you guys uh, very much for watching, and I really enjoyed making this video. So uh, stay tuned for some more videos. And like always, thank you for liking and subscribing. Have a good day.